2024 is looking like a very exciting year for the farm RPG category. We have lots of upcoming games that look super cozy and today I am going to be showing you 15 of the most popular upcoming farm RPGs that are getting released this year in 2024. I have put this list together and this will be in no particular order and all of these games are guaranteed to release this year, some with an exact date, some more unknown. So no messing around, let's get straight in to our first one on the list. And this one is called Echoes of the Plum Grove. This is a cozy farming sim developed by Unwound Games and published by Freedom Games. This is planned to release this year. A new life awaits you in Honeywood. After washing onto the island shores, you find yourself the newly minted owner to a humble plot of land. Pull up your sleeves, grab your tools, and get to work building a farm that will last not only a lifetime, but span generations. Winter brings new levels of dangers to players. With your very survival at stake, you'll have to work your land, fish the sea, cook meals, craft forage, and more to ensure your family make it through this very cold season. Should you neglect to prepare, your lineage could end before anyone can uncover the island's secrets. Whilst your main focus is to survive, the town of Honeywood puts its best festive foot forward with many celebrations taking place. Everyone who lives on the island has their own schedules, jobs, traits, hobbies, and children. You can work together with the fellow townsfolk to forge an even greater community. Building relationships is the core of Echoes of Plum Grove. As you grow your family tree, your original character perishes, and then you'll find yourself playing as somebody else within your family. While building these relationships is crucial to your experience, take time to explore the island. There are many mysteries to uncover. Next on the list is one of my all time favourites and we have now confirmation that this game is releasing this year as an early access, which wasn't the original plan, but this game is Chef RPG. You may have seen a lot of videos on my channel of this game already, if you are a viewer of mine, but Chef RPG is developed and published by World 2 Studio. Also a guy who goes by Pixel Architect, he has his own YouTube channel and he creates videos like dev vlogs showing his progression on the development of Chef RPG. You can follow along from the very beginning. The pixel design is beautiful, but here in Chef RPG, you are a traveling chef who has been given the task of reviving a list Sequoia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this was once a famous restaurant in White Ash Arbor, and you get to begin your new life in this beautiful seaside town, which was once a thriving tourist destination. You can hunt, harvest, and shop for ingredients, and along the way, befriend fascinating locals and help revive the town as a tourist hotspot. This is more of a cooking RPG than a farm, but you can grow crops and use those ingredients for your recipes, serve customers, hire staff, decorate your restaurants, have a place to live, this game has got it all, you can even go fishing, mining and foraging, it's definitely going to be a very popular and amazing game so get ready for the early access this year. Moving on to the next game and this one is called Cozy Noughts. Developed and published by Neo Noir Studios and this is getting released on the 28th of March this year. Your corporation has sent you to discover new materials in the galaxy. This new desolate planet seems perfect to start a new colony. Unfortunately, your space pod could only carry you, so you have to start building everything from scratch. Travel the planet and gather new resources. At first, you will carry everything by hand, so you'll have to think about transportation. Later on, you can build the hovering carts that will follow you to your base. Eventually, construct a production line to fully automatize the mining process. Find the right materials to expand your base, you can build houses and craft items to decorate your base and don't forget to supply the structures with oxygen. Cook delicious meals to replenish your stamina, grow plants in a greenhouse and crossbreed them to discover more recipes. There is bug catching and fishing in the game and you can encounter alien animals, insects and fish, 
craft a rod or a net to catch them and donate them to a data center. Sell them for a nice profit or use them in your recipes. But be careful because not every creature on the planet is friendly. There is also secret dungeons that you can travel underground to gather new materials and creatures, fight robots and mini bosses and encounter mysterious remnants of an alien civilization. You can also play with a friend, invite your friends who can move into your colony, have fun in a co-op mode. Another game I have for you guys is called Little Known Galaxy. This one looks adorable. A game planned to release this year, but this is developed and published by Carbon and K. This one, as you can tell by the title, is all about space. Similar to the last one we've just gone through. Basically, the story of this game is you join a space alliance as a new captain in training and work with your quirky crew to solve the mysteries of an ancient relic which was found on the grey planet. What mysteries will it uncover? What kind of adventure lies ahead? and who will you meet along the way? It's up to you now that you're the captain. Some of the things you can expect to do in the gameplay is customising your space, whether you like to maximise your resource production with machines or enjoy planting a collection of fresh crops, it's totally up to you. There is a ton of machines, decorations, furniture, walls and floors, paths and so much more. You can expand your living quarters and configure your deck space and even build on the outer hull of the ship itself. There is crafting, farming and cooking and there is a full range of useful machines and decorations. You can grow and nurture and harvest crops right aboard your ship and then of course cook some delicious recipes in the kitchen. And one of the main things in the game is all about befriending your crew. Families, friends and singles are all excited to welcome you to your very own cosy spaceship community. You'll start out with a tight-knit crew of 20 people on your ship, but soon you will meet many new friends along the way. You have to build up relationships through dialogues, giving gifts, story cinematics, mission objectives, and eventually you'll get to know each other intimately through your long journey together. You can explore so many different worlds, take your spaceship around with you, and go to undiscovered planets. There's alien worlds you can scavenge for a large variety of resources that's going to help you build all these new machines and complete your missions. There is also romance in the game so you can date and get married. There is 10 singles aboard the ship that you can choose from and each one has a unique backstory with personal likes and dislikes. Once you win their affection you can pop the question and then once married you'll have a lifelong companion to share your quarters with. Just think of this as Stardew Valley in space. I'm super excited for this one, it's going to be great guys. Next on the list is a game I have spoke about before and this is called A New Leaf Memories. I made a video on another previous upcoming farm RPG video that I did, but back then this did not have a release date, but now it is coming in the first stage of this year, so anywhere in the next couple of months. This game reminds me of a lot of the classic farm games like The Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons. It's developed by Hidden Tower Studios and published by Crytevo. Gifted a small and empty plot of land by the mayor, transform and manage the terrain as it blossoms into your own unique farm. From growing crops, planting trees and flowers, and raising your own farm animals, you are free to choose the life you want. As your farm grows, you are sure to harvest plenty of fruit and vegetables, which you can use to make lots of delicious recipes by the cooking. There are many recipes that can be discovered on the island. There is lots to explore in this world, and when you do go exploring, you'll find mines, which you can head down for an adventure and explore a network of secret caves, some days are meant for hard work while others call for a bit of a leisure. What better way to do that than take your beloved pet out for a fishing trip? Omoid Island has a variety of water sources that yield many different fish. You can upgrade your fishing rod to tackle the bigger and rarer fish. There is also relationships in the game, so you don't have to be isolated on your farm. You can go and speak to and befriend all of the townsfolk, and every island resident has a unique personality and backstory. There is a ton of customization in the game, from the character itself to your house and furniture.
Next on the list is a very popular game, a very anticipated one as well, called Sunnyside. Developed by Rainy Games and published by Merge Games, this is expected to release this year. I have created a video on this before, but this game takes place in the Japanese countryside. And you've just purchased your first plot of land. It's up to you to create a homestead to be proud of. You can cultivate the land, nurture your budding crops and care for your animals. Use technology to keep in touch with new friends, access online shopping and store your favourite farm recipes. You can spend time getting to know the residents of Sunnyside, old and new all whilst balancing your newfound farm life. The scenery, the background is absolutely breathtaking. So every now and then, just don't forget to take a pause and enjoy the wonders of the Japanese landscape. You'll be lost in its beauty. This is a very modernized farming experience with new technology that brings the classic farming sim games to the 21st century. You could build things like solar panels, electric water pumps, crazy machines for food production, and you can even upgrade all of your tech to improve your farming experience. Experience. You even get an in-game cell phone which can be tailored to your preference and desires. A proper homestead is self-sufficient and your home in Sunnyside is no different. You can learn to collect your own water, generate power, grow and craft various food items and cultivate your land to help support the local economy. Ferment your own soy sauce, slice tofu, grow and grind flour at the local mill and even craft artisan cheeses. There is a ton of customization to your character from accessories to clothing, you can make your avatar however you wish. You are sure to go on a journey of self-discovery. While a quiet life in the countryside is nice, life in Sunnyside isn't perfect. The locals have distinct personalities, stories and issues, which through your decisions can be uncovered. You can form bonds, join groups, attend events, and maybe even find someone special to share your days with. Next on the list is called Pixel Shire. Planned to release this year, developed by Kappa Bits and published by Merge Games again. Pixel Shire is a unique sandbox town building experience. You can develop the perfect town and farm of your dreams with terraforming features that allow you to carve and craft the landscape. Build and decorate your own unique house. Your town will grow with each citizen you encounter along the way and each villager has his own house that you must place and design. You can build your farm, plant and grow crops and even raise livestock. Now you can choose from a variety of trades, if that's farming, mining, woodcutting, fishing, cooking, brewing and more are all waiting to be mastered. There is a whole continent ready to be explored, full of new adventures and hidden treasures. You can mine for ore as you descend into randomly generated dungeons and you can travel and fight your way through enchanted forests, mountain jungles and so much more. Moving on to another farm RPG that is upcoming this year, one that is very, very popular, but this one's different because it is not a full game. It's a DLC. The only one on the list like this, but hear me out guys, because this is a DLC for the awesome game called Eastwood. If you have played Eastwood, you'd know how amazing this game is, published by Chucklefish, and we have now got a new DLC called Eastwood Octopia. Now, the reason it's in this video is because this DLC is purely focused on farming. So Sam and John are returning in an all new adventure in this heartwarming story driven farming sim. In this DLC, players can now grow crops, tend livestock, and turn an abandoned fairground into a thriving village. With the help of the weird and wonderful cast of the beloved Eastwood characters, you're basically going to have the life on a farm. In a parallel universe where time and space have collided, Sam and John now move to a peaceful corner of the globe to start their new life. And in Octobia, they decide to spend all of their savings on a rundown farm cottage desperately in need of some TLC. This essentially is a whole new game and it's so exciting. It's like Stardew Valley mixed in with Eastwood. There's gonna be weather in the game to help you out with your crops. You can cook, fish. This is a very large DLC with a brand new story and an all new farming game mode. You do need the Eastwood base game 
in order to play the Octopia DLC. But I am so, so excited for this. I feel like we're going to need a new playthrough on the channel, guys. Eastwood Octopia DLC is getting released very soon on the 31st of Jan this year. But let's move on to the next one. I think this is the ninth on the list, and this is called Farlands. This is planned to release this year, 2024. Seeking a change in your life, you saw an offer that you couldn't refuse. An entire planet at a bargain price. An old agrarian rock that has been abandoned for years in an outlaying solar system. So with little more than your worn out ship and your personal assistance droid, you decide to embark on a new phase of your life in a lost corner of the galaxy. Your job is to restore the planet by cutting weeds, clearing paths, reclaiming fields, and fixing what the passing of the time has destroyed, turning this old planet into a thriving homestead. You can even explore the solar system in your ship. You can move between different planets in the system whilst exploring them, collecting resources, and using them to improve your farm your tools and your ship. There is a community in the game as well that you can be a part of. You can engage with the handful of people who still live on the planets of the solar system and you can learn their stories and the reasons and why they still live in such a remote part of the galaxy. But what was the price of having this whole planet to yourself? Maybe things won't be as simple as they seemed and that planet's low price has a reason to be. But let's move on to the 10th on the list. We are near the end and this one is called Fields of Mystria. This game has been on my wish list for quite some time. I think I saw this last year. But this is a classic farming sim slash life sim developed and published by NPC Studio planned to release this year with no official date. Get ready to begin a brand new life in a world that's brimming with possibilities. Mystria is an idyllic village tucked between forest and sea and you've been offered an overgrown but full of potential homestead in exchange for your assistance. Restore the town to its former glory after an earthquake wrecks havoc and strange magic begins to flow through the land. Build the farm of your dreams as you discover magic, romance and adventure. And some of the top features are customising your character and your farm to suit your style. There is farming, fishing, mining and crafting. You can even find your ideal match and start a family with 12 different marriage candidates. You can raise animals and breed rare colour variants. You can enjoy the changing seasons, spring, summer, fall and winter with new quests, festivals and even villager outfits. Get to know 30 plus villagers and follow their stories. A lot of people say this reminds them of Sailor Moon which is the Japanese manga series. Next on the list though, is Critter Cove. Developed and published by Gentleman Rat Studios, this is planned to release in the second stage of 2024. And a little bit about this game, the town of Critter Grove used to attract visitors from all over the world, but now it's mostly known for dirty streets and trash strewn beaches. But it's your job to help turn things around. Critter Grove is a combination life sim and town builder game with a beautiful handcrafted open world to explore. You can spend your hard earned money to upgrade buildings and explore the world to discover new blueprints and gather resources to grow your town. More upgrades will improve Critter Cove's tourist rating. The greater your tourist rating, the more new tourists will visit. And the more new tourists, the more money in your pockets to upgrade your town. Yeah, you get the drift. But this is a post-apocalyptic open world that is fully explorable and you can venture out into the mysterious tropical archipelago peppered with the ruins of a long destroyed civilization. But you can dive beneath the waves to salvage the treasures of the old world, rescue shipwrecked critters, unearth exotic ingredients. There is a ton of decorations to craft and interactive objects that will improve the town and make it uniquely yours. You can build friendships with all of the townsfolk, with many colourful characters. This is a little different to the ones on the list, more of an open world farming RPG. But it's very cosy, it looks awesome and yeah, one that I'm very excited to play. But let's move on to another one on the list. And this one is called Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story. 
very excited for this one and the main reason is because this is developed by Lazy Bear Games, one of my favourite developers. But this is published by Riot Forge and it's planned to release sometime this year again but from Lazy Bear the studio that brought us Graveyard Keeper comes Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story. We can jump into the delightful crafting RPG which is set in a magical world of Bandal City, home of the furry and fun loving Yordles. You are a shy Yordle living in Yarnville, which is a cosy but isolated island obsessed with all things knitting. My girlfriend's gonna love this one. When your 101 year long apprenticeship ends, you want nothing more than to see what lies beyond the portals that connect the rest of the Bandal City. But when a party that you attend goes horribly wrong, the portals collapse and everything is thrown into chaos. You can throw festivals to ensure that your fellow Yordles are happy and entertained. During your time in this game you can encounter curious critters, gather materials to make impossible crafts and awaken magical portals as we move between five unforgettable new islands. You can cultivate your green form and cook farm to table dishes for your guests or flex your engineering prowess and build gadgets to delight them. A very very unique game but it looks so adorable and I think it's going to be a good one guys. Next on the list is called Murfwood. Now this one is very unique and might not be for everyone. But if you are into your medieval fantasy RPGs mixed in with the farming and you love immersive sims, this one's going to be right up your street. Murfwood is developed by Bad Ridge Games and published by V Publishing, another one planned to release this year, guaranteed, but with no official date. This is an enchanting RPG live sim where fleeing a continent swept with war, your arrival in new land provides a fresh star. You can experience an immersive medieval fantasy world sandbox which allows you to choose who you want to be. But you will be managing your own homestead, you can build a farm, plant and harvest crops, raise animals and upgrade your facilities to craft items and gear, you can build a peaceful life for your family and trade your goods from town to town. But once you go exploring, things change a little because Murfwood features a rich, fully realised world with gorgeous hand-drawn graphics, immersive sound effects and an original musical score. You can explore an open world comprised of six diverse regions and three distinct towns with much to discover and uncover. You can battle storms, winter and disease with survival elements as you progress through a bewitching world. You will be fighting a lot in this game so take up a sword or ready your bow in real time combat because Murfwood will pit you against a variety of enemies from bandits to werewolves. So make sure you stock up on the best weapons, armour and clothing and level up and specialise your character in your chosen combat class. There is a full ecosystem and you can face new situations and conditions generated by the living world. Embark on quests, encounter dynamic events across the world and investigate mysteries. There is rare and epic loot to find across the world. Whilst doing all this, you can socialise, meet and befriend or even insult townsfolk and NPCs across Murfwood with a new Sims style interaction system. You can establish and grow relationships with all the NPCs which unlocks new social interactions as your relationship grows. Very unique, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. If Is it for you or is it not? I do like medieval RPGs and fantasy sims mixed in with farming so I feel like yeah a bit of survival in there as well, sandbox. I'm gonna give this one a go and see how good this game is. A silver tongue. What you'll uncover along the way is anyone's guess. But we've got two left on the list. Number 14, guys. This one is called Ever Home. Now this one only got brought to my attention literally yesterday. I had no idea this existed until today, but this is developed by Chunky Loaf 
love that name, and published by Freedom Games. Plan to release this year again with no official release date, but in this game you play as a character called Lily and you will be searching for her lost sister, Melanie. During her search, she happens upon a magical portal that lures her into Everholm, which is a cute, cozy little island where everyone seems to recognise her. Gathering her wits, she sets out to uncover the mysteries of this little slice of heaven with the help of a local witch. Everholm is an open-ended role-playing game focusing less on punching your way through the island's wildlife and more on interpersonal relationships. Meet the residents of Everholm, gain their trust and figure out why they're stuck with her on this island. But Everholm isn't just about talking to the locals, it's about living together, learning new skills and making the most of this cute little island. Lily will have to learn how to farm crops, forage for supplies, do some fishing, raise animals and livestock and much more. I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy this one. But now we are on to the last one on the list, another one that I've only recently discovered, and this is a little bit different, in fact a lot different to the ones you've seen, and this one is called Lightyear Frontier. I've seen a lot of people talking about this one, I think it's highly anticipated and it's on the upcoming popular list. This is getting released March this year, developed and published by Framebreak and Amplifier Studios. This is another game that might be for some people but not for others, but in this game you can start your interstellar homestead in this peaceful open world farming adventure. You can build your sustainable exo farm, grow alien crops, customise your mech and explore a new world full of mystery with up to three friends. So this is going to be a perfect co-op game. I have seen some gameplay footage of people playing this together. But basically, you'll be doing all of your duties in a giant mech suit. <laughs> Live the quiet life as you take in the sights and sounds of your new home. Enjoy a low-stress, combat-free experience without the need to manage things like thirst and hunger. Just focus on farming, exploring, and discovering. You can relax to a chill, atmospheric, cosmic country soundtrack, pilot and upgrade your mech, farm, build and explore in it, choose from an array of tools, unlock loads of new upgrades and personalise your mech with an assortment of paint choices and mech parts. And you have to take care of the environment, carefully manage your relationship with the ecosystem, restoring the surrounding regions by cleaning up mysterious pollution, plant new trees to replace the ones you've harvested and ensure a sustainable homestead. You can get your new life started by sowing a diverse harvest, collect seeds of numerous plants as you explore the planet and then grow them into fully fledged harvests. You can even create your home from the resources you've gathered and you can grow your presence as you expand your homestead from basic structures to a fully fledged retro futuristic farm. There's a ton to explore and you can do this solo or as a group but there are lots of clues that are spread across the planet for you to try and uncover. Very very unique but very interesting. I can't wait to give this a go and see what it's like. It looks very satisfying you know just restoring the ecosystem, looking after the planet and the nature and and living in it at the same time. Let me know your thoughts on this one below. But that is 15 of the best and most popular upcoming farm RPGs. Now I did get this list and all of these games are from Steam, but some of these are planned to release on console and Switch as well. I just don't know which ones are fully confirmed at the time of me recording this. But these are all guaranteed to release this year. Some have dates, some don't, but we can expect to see them sometime this year, which is very exciting. If there is any I have missed or you want me to be aware of, please put them down below. Which game are you most looking forward to on this list or even if they are not on the list? Do let me know some of your favorites. These are the most popular that people are wishlisting on Steam. But please smash the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you'd love to see lots of games like this. But until then guys, make sure you take it easy and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, stay cozy.